day they'll go for the sweep. They played well, Chris, and they're looking for more of the same in this one. Yeah, they've been the side shaking hands on the field after each game so far. Played solid baseball to earn those wins, as you said, but every game offers up its own unique challenges. So we'll see what those are today, but they're. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the second. And here is Cole Carter. We're talking about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. Baz back to work and fouled off. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. Ball, but strike. this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Try to bunt his way on. Bare hand has to hurry. But no chance. That's an infield single. That is this is a big part of the his skill set. Base. And he puts himself into situations where he can rely on his speed to impact the ball game. And this is just another example of it. And we'll see what else he can do now that he's on first. And now it's Josh Naylor. What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. First pitch, just misses. You know, Book, one thing about being a great switch hitter, it's so tough to keep both of your swings sharp. I mean, sometimes it can feel like a long time in between at bats against a lefty or vice versa. You can work on both swings, but there's only so much a guy can do in the batting cage. Here you go. Back, 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 back. Move first. Hey. And he's back in safely. Hey, let's go, big fella. He's right here. The 1 0. That's down and in. Chris, with that distraction and a speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a hey, great spot prepared. for a hitter he's to going. be in. He's going, he's going, at the he's belt going. And fire. Throw. Save! Mejia too late. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on him and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position? No score here in the second. And a four-pitch walk. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of his own. Next is the designated hitter, Spencer Jones. Goes to second, and he's picked off. Come on, sitting on something right here. Runner, runner, runner. Ball, oh, you're down. Throw to third. Save. Double steal. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead, got a great jump, and that's how you steal third base. That pitch in for a strike, and the count is one and one. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. Carter at third. Naylor stands at second. No outs. This one in the air right field. Beavers gets under it. Brings it in. Both runners tagging from second and third. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. In there safely. In that situation, you're looking to get something up in the zone that you can put in the air. Back now at Progressive Field. New inning getting started. And now the right fielder, Dylan Beavers. And that one in the air center field. Carter puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Almost a loud start to the inning that on that enough. first pitch, man. Base is empty with two away. Now at the plate, Colt Carter. And Cleveland on top once in. First pitch, not close. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. 
Yeah, it is, and it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. That misses two the ball. zone. Now two balls and a strike. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. I know a slider's a great pitch, but when you've got really good velocity, sometimes you just got to challenge the hitter with that four-seamer. And it's ball, ball four. four. He missed down low. They just keep handing out gifts, Boo. Or are we now supposed batter. to bring something? First base Singing, I think just yeah. our presence is the presence. Naylor. Here's Josh Naylor. Worked a walk in his first trip to the plate. Ripped to third, but handled. And that'll end the inning. One left for the Guardians, but they're on top. As we go to the top of the fourth, Yandy Diaz now. Balazovic back to work. This one in the air center field. Carter under it. And there's one away. Now batting. Second baseman. Brandon. Here's Nick Solak. He reached out a walk his first time. Balasovic yeah. back to work. Into center. Carter. As this one sized up, he's got it. And there's one down. The batter. And stepping in is the speedy Colt Carter. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. And yeah, the first oh, offering no is not close. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down because of that speed and the ability. Didn't make quality contact now on the bad. ground ball to the, the ball side, base. but sometimes it's just a matter of finding a hole in the defense. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. His righty-lefty splits there. Yo, that is the most extreme case of ready-lefty splits I think I've ever seen in my life. I think the base runner was trying to catch him off guard, perhaps looking to steal right away and wasn't ready to get back to first. That was foul. And that one is lifted in the air. Carter under it. That's out number two. And now the center fielder, Colt Carter. Now pretty amazing athlete this guy is. Power and speed, quite a threat. I mean, you're talking about someone that can steal your bag and go deep. Bo Jackson, anyone? And first offering is fouled off. Yeah, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. Step off, throw to first, no, he's and safe. he's back in there. Ramirez off of first with two away. Up right here. Another throw over, safe, he's and safe. he's back in that time as well. Hey, your turn. Drive him in. Clutch up for us. 0 and 2 now. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Hey, drive him in. No one better right here. Swing and a pop-up. Beavers on his way over. Nice grab on the run. And that'll do it. This was pure domination at home. Huge sweep. And now you go on the road. The fight's going to be very enjoyable.